Hello, I'm Jake. I'm 32 and uh, I'll admit I'm an adult fan of Lego. Hello there. So, adult fans of Lego, aren't they weird? Or at least, that's what everybody tells me. So I'm frequently getting comments on my YouTube videos, I'm assuming from children that don't like that I'm an adult that plays with Lego, and they usually say things like, you must live with your parents, you must be sad and have no friends, your girlfriend must be made up. Now, admittedly, many of those things are true. But in all seriousness, it got me thinking, is it weird that I'm 32 and that I still play with Lego? I'll be interested to hear your opinions. Maybe we can get a little bit of a discussion going about this. But first, I would like to put some of my points across to you and see what you think, really, because I think this is actually quite a big issue when you actually stop and think about it. Lego, a toy designed for children, is used by many, many adults. So a good way to start anything like this is to think about yourself for a minute, introspect. Why do I like Lego? What do I think is going on? Well, here we have the Lego VW camper van, which I built around Christmas time, saved it for ages. Um, and I think really this camper van demonstrates exactly what it is I love about Lego. Now, let me explain. So as you may know, I got this set for Christmas about uh, a year ago, and it took me ages to uh, to put it together, mainly because as I, oh, I've actually broken it, mainly because I am actually an adult and I do have adult sort of jobs to do. Um, this is actually quite frustrating. And so it's quite difficult to find the time to actually put these sets uh, together. That's not right either. Okay, that's sort of it. But I was saving building this for a special occasion because the thing I enjoy about Lego is sitting down with a load of bricks and the instructions, essentially turning my mind off, following the instructions bit by bit, finding the little parts. At the end of a few hours, a model like this pops out and I get a great amount of enjoyment from then looking at the model afterwards and seeing what you can do with it. Um, you can break this bit, apparently, it seems. Um, looking inside and seeing all the detail that I've put together in plain sight and not really realised I was doing it. So that's why I uh, enjoy Lego. Now, I think, personally, I get a lot more enjoyment out of a set like this than a very young child would. I mean, would a child of sort of eight years old even know what a VW camper van is? Am I just being a little bit sort of patronising towards younger kids? I don't know. But I feel like a model this detailed and this kind of nostalgic wouldn't really be of interest to a young child. And let's face it, this model is, I think, 80 or or £100 pounds or something. This isn't pocket money uh, for a child, unless they're a kind of a very rich child or a spoiled child. So a lot of these sort of Lego sets seem to very much be catered towards adult buyers. Now, obviously, there are exceptions to that. And I actually went to a supermarket last night because I had a £100 voucher that I wanted to spend on some Lego. And I kind of noticed, yeah, there is there is Lego at every single price point. There are those very cheap sort of £6 sets or $10 sets, which you might be able to get cheaper elsewhere, I guess, if you looked around. To me, those sets really are catered towards kids. And then you have the sets that are £100, £200, or in the case of the UCS Millennium Vulcan, £300. That's really not something that a kid could really afford. And you know what? Being an adult Lego fan is a bit like secretly enjoying Justin Bieber's music. You'll just kind of be talking to somebody and you'll happen to both realise that you're both into Lego. I met somebody just before Christmas, somebody who was probably, I think he was in his 50s, and he just revealed to me, oh yeah, yeah, every Christmas we buy a massive Lego set and this year we've bought the Death Star and we're going to put it together as a family. So it seems to me maybe there are a lot more older people who are interested in Lego than... Uh, than I even realised. Just to carry on in no particular sensible order, I found an article on the internet. It says, if you're an adult playing with Legos, which is incorrect, as we know, it's not Legos, and they haven't even capitalised all the letters in Lego, 
just don't. Here's why. And then this article basically talks a load of rubbish, uh, you know, this kind of waffly introduction. I don't know anything about that. And I found this quite interesting. He talks about a team of scientists from the University of Wisconsin who did a study and found out that adults who follow Lego instructions and build sets, um, they actually become less creative. They become more dependent on very rigid structures and uh, following defined instructions. Uh, does that really mean anything to the average sort of Lego builder? I do beg to differ about this. So you may know that my day-to-day -day job is as a scientist or a, basically a computer programmer. And I would say that building a computer program is a little bit like building a mock. You have to take all the sort of tools or bricks or objects that you have available to you and combine them in a novel order to solve a particular task. So for Lego, that's potentially building a car. So you might want to get the bits together and build an engine. I get little bits of programming language together, little bits of toolbox and algorithms and things, and I build a program to solve a particular function. So that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. When I build Lego, it's because I get enough creativity in my day-to-day -day job, and actually, I just want to do something a bit mindless. And I don't think, actually, there's anything wrong with that. But just to try to come to some kind of conclusion here, I like what I was saying about that bloke I met, the kind of 50-year-old who was building Lego sets with his family. Why should there be really such a thing as an adult fan of Lego? Maybe it should be family fans of Lego. Maybe adults should be helping their kids make their Lego sets. Maybe adults should be trying to build their own mocks to try and increase their creativity. Lego isn't exclusively for adults and it isn't exclusively for children. And let's deconstruct Lego for a moment, no pun intended. What is Lego? It's bricks and brick type things that you stick together to make an object. How is that a children's toy in actual fact? It's a construction tool. You can build anything with it. In fact, when I did my undergraduate degree, um, we used Lego robots to learn how to program. So these were little robots that had admittedly a sort of Lego programming language, but you could actually, if you wanted to, use this kind of other programming language that was a bit like C. I think it was called NQC. I think it stood for not quite C. So that's like a proper demonstration of Lego being used for something that definitely isn't for children. Now I do wonder about the effect that the media has on people's perceptions of adult fans of Lego. There's a programme in the UK called Lego Masters and it features families, kids, boffins, who are really good at making mocks and things and they have to be really creative throughout the series and they basically compete to become the Lego Master. But the problem is they're all a little bit strange. But I don't think it's actually because they like Lego. I think it's because if you take any sort of toy or hobby and then look at the people who are most passionate about it, they're going to be extreme people, aren't they? But the average fan of Lego is just quite normal. I mean, look at me. So I think we've had enough of the hate towards adult fans of Lego. What do you think, though? Let me know down below. Let me know if you're an adult who is an adult fan of Lego and what it is you get out of building Lego sets. If you're a kid, do you like adult fans of Lego? If not, why not? What is it that's so terrible about us? Please let us know. We would love to hear it. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. There's some videos here. Watch those. Um, they're relevant to this one. You might enjoy them. Do subscribe and I shall see you next time for another video.